now that we have an API facade created and configured, debugged and traced, and deployed to the appropriate environment, we need to make it easy for developers to consume our API facades. To do that, we switch to developer services that allows us to create API products. API products are bundles of API facades that make it easy for developers to consume all of your APIs. Here we see the Gold Partners API uh, product uh, that we saw analytics for before. Here we see that this is available in our production environment. The type of access that it's been granted is public. Um, however, the key approval is manual. That means anytime a developer requests access to this API product, this bundle of APIs, someone has to approve that within the API team. And then we are also enabling in this particular uh, facade uh, API product developers to call 1,200 requests every, every minute. We also see the various API facades or API proxies that make up this API product. API products also play a significant role within the monetization module of Apigee Edge. API packages are bundles of API products for an even easier consumption model when it comes to monetization. Here we see that we have created an affiliate package for our gold partners, and we have a rate plan for fixed fee. Monetization module enables customers to quickly experiment with different rate plans. Customers can create rate plans that are fee-only based, revenue share based, rate card based, or a combination of all the rate card and revenue share. Again, making it very, very easy for customers to figure out what rate plans work and what rate plans don't work from a monetization standpoint. Developer services also enables customers to manage developers, developer categories, and developer applications. However, rather than doing that from the management UI, we will switch to developer portal, which is a self-service environment for developers to log in, request access, to the appropriate API products that they want to use to create their applications. On top of that, the developer portal also enables developers to view documentation, uh, look at the API console to test the APIs that are available for, them for consumption, smart docs, which are uh, interactive documentation capability within Apigee Edge developer services that uh, enables customers and, and developers to test the APIs that they're going to be using, as well as collaborate in, in, in through blogs and forums in case they have any questions or they wanted to, to start any discussions about the APIs that they're using. But now let's switch to the app section where I can add a brand new app that I'm going to be creating. And in order to create that, I would provide a name, a callback URL anytime the, the API facade needs to send information back to me uh, for security reasons or, or any of the security flows, and the products, the API products that have been configured on Apigee Edge that I want access to. Here I can request access to the different products such as the appliance product, the, the, the baby products, as well as the gold partner product. Rather than creating a brand new app, let's switch to an existing app that I've already created to see what are the properties associated with it once I've been granted access. So I have an iRetail app that I have created. And in the iRetail app, you will notice that I have been provided the consumer key because my request to, to access the API product was granted. And then I also have the consumer secret. So anytime I'm using the APIs to, to create and, and use it within the application, I will need to use this consumer key and the consumer secret. I also have the ability to see the application's performance once I have the application deployed in production and using this information.